morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Veterans Memorial Field. Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions. As we're here in Westby today, it's a Saturday morning, July 9th. Welcome aboard to a couple of ball games today. The Westby Junior Legion hosting a ball tournament. They're playing here at 9 o'clock in the morning, and then we'll turn around and play later this afternoon, early evening, at 6 o'clock. Opening opponent here today is going to be Toma. Let's take a quick look here. It is going to be Owen Gerke and Tucker Franzlin will be the battery for Toma. And with the Westby Coon Valley Junior Legion team, Devin Nedlin and Ben Ratha will be the battery here for the Bandits. Well, let's take a quick break, take a look at uh, maybe some of those uh, fine sponsors that are going to help support the upcoming regional and state baseball tournament. That's going to be held here in Westby for the regional and the state tournament coming up end of July in Viroqua. We will return with the opening pitch in just a couple of moments. Stoddard, DeSoto, Ferryville. It's not hard to figure out where Riverbank got its name. Those three communities are where Riverbank started. Now that Riverbank has grown to serve communities in Bangor, Berry Mills, Coon Valley, Holman, La Crosse, Sparta, Toma, and Westby, the same close community spirit that brought us together is still there. Friendly, personal service, understanding the customer's needs, and going the extra distance in providing service. Riverbank, local banking made simple. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Brigham Oil Company. Good luck to the Cash and Eagles throughout the year. Brian and Jody Brigham remind you that when it comes to your heating and fuel needs, give them a call 654 7358, located at 1307 Front Street. Brigham Oil, your local fuel oil service. Looking forward to serving you. Cade Clearing. Fully insured for your protection. Call for a free estimate today when it comes to tree removal. Contact Brett, 608-615-0827 or Riley at 608-632-3678. When it comes to clearing out old tree stumps or taking down hazardous trees, Cade Clearing, the place to go. Back in action, and the first pitch underway. The ball game taking place in there for a called strike. Devin Nedlin doing the pitching here. He comes right back, and that's a little sinker. Swinging over the top is Brett Fleetner, and he's down in the count 0 2. Here comes your 0 2 offering, and it's up high. And there's out number one. Came up em empty on that pitch as it kind of rolls up into him a little bit. And now Owen Gerke, the pitcher, will step in. First offering in there for a strike. That one rolled back to the inside a little bit. And that one caught the inside part, and it's 0-2 again. Nedlin starting out hot here with the pitching today. That one he'll just miss outside and a good offer. Well, we'll start things off here by saying thanks to some of those sponsors. Cade Clearing, that's Brett and Riley Cade helping us out. That's the ball inside. And it's two and two. Coming right back and partial swing. There's two down. Fully insured, that's Cade Clearing when it comes to taking care of trees and stumps and all kinds of things that might be around your area that you want to get rid of, become a hazard. Well, here is Tucker Franzlin. First offering was upstairs. Next one comes inside and it's a called strike. 
Thanks also going out to Kevin Kirking, Cashton Building Supply, and his daughter, Courtney Cousy, with CBS Designs. Bringing you today's ball game. Stop in at Cashton. Here's a little one hopper knocked down. Johnson will throw to Steinhoff in time for out number three. 4 3 on the put out. That'll take care of the inning. An easy 1 2 3 inning here for the West Pecoon Valley Bandits defense. No runs, no hits. Nobody left on base. We'll come back with the bottom half of inning number one in just a moment. Scenic Bluffs Community Health Centers, serving Cashton, Ontario, Norwalk, Iroquois, Sparta, and beyond. Health care from behavioral, dental, chiropractic, and medical can be found at Scenic Bluffs Community Health, a community-based health care service that has your health in the forefront. For your next appointment, be sure to call 654 51 Zero, zero. The Bank of Cashin hopes that you're enjoying today's special presentation. Be sure to call Scott Wall, 654-5121 for all of your banking and investment needs. Now located at 724 Front Street, a new modern bank, yet the same know-your-neighbor attitude. The Bank of Cashin. When it comes to all your building supply requirements, be sure to stop in at Cashton Building Supply. Kevin Kirking has you covered when it comes to quality building products. And while you're there, be sure to talk to Courtney Cousy for any and all of your design renovations. CBS Design has your plans come to life with a terrific 3D model. It's a winning combination, Cashton Building Supply and CBS Designs. We'll kick things off here for the West Bicoon Valley Bandits in the bottom half of inning number one, facing Owen Gertke. Nettling from the left side. Takes the ball upstairs. Allen in tight on the knees. 2-0. and Gerke gets set. He comes in. That's going to be downstairs and away. Thanks to Cashton Farm Supply, Ernie Peterson and that great crew out there in Highway 27. Showing bunt. He'll take this one for a call strike. Got the automatic. Gerke. Three and one, here's a shot. Oh, a nice nag by the shortstop, but the throw's not gonna be in time. Nedlin, good speed, is able to beat that out for an infield single. But a dandy play out there on the backhand by the shortstop in Fleetner. Deep in the hole, but not able to get the throw over there in time. Well, here we are now with Gavin Larson. Larson showing bunt. He offers for a called strike. Saturday morning under a lot of blue sky. How about that? Looking pretty good today. Little toss back over and Larson, or excuse me, Nedlin back in. Larson at bat. See if he's going to try and move Nedlin over once again. Called strike. At the knees on the outside part, and it's now 0-2. Chasebrook Farmers Union Co-op also bringing you today's action. Thanks to John Maslevichek and that great crew. Serving Red Mound, Stoddard, and Chaseburg and beyond. That ball curved away, and it's one and two. Good job by Franslin to Franson, I should say, as he was able to get the ball 
knocked down in front of him, keeping Nedlin at first base. Called strike three, he fired that one by him. One down, here is Blake Sutton. Gerke with a quick peek and now is set. First offering is uh, low and away to Sutton. Number three hitter here for the West Beacon Valley Bandits. Now Gerke steps off. And you'll get a new set of uh, signs here. Swing and a miss on a ball that ducked underneath the bat. One down, one on. Fly ball. Right center field, pretty well hit. Nobody's going to get to that one. And it's going to get to the base of the fence. And they're going to have to hold him up at third. Well, I'll tell you what, that was a pretty good-looking shot there by Sutton. And now with a stand-up double, two on with one down. Nedlin had to wait just for a moment. And that was enough to keep him at third base. Yeah, that actually hit the bottom of the fence. Well, it's going to bring up Brody Steinhoff, the first baseman now. See if he can punch one through and get an RBI or two. Gerke is set and here he comes. Swing and a miss. Good little fastball in on the hands. Now 0 and 1. And 0 and 2. Gerke out in front, 0 and 2 now on Steinhoff. He shoots one foul down the right field side. Count will stay at 0-2 here, as we say thanks to Coon Valley Telecommunications bringing you this tape-delayed ball game. That one came in tight on the chest of Steinhoff. And we'll go 1-2 now. Curve ball stayed upstairs. And we're 2-2. Two and two. <clears throat> Steinhoff just checking the count as well. And a fastball downstairs, and there's two away on the strikeout. Here's Rhett Stensling. He'll take a curve. Drops in for a strike. Rhett playing third base today. That one just snuck outside. It's one and one. Swing and a miss. Gerke out in front, one, two now.
He's set, and here he comes. And that'll take care of the inning. <clears throat> well, Gerke in some trouble. Comes through with two strikeouts with runners at second and third to finish off the inning. No runs on two hits. Two runners left on base. No errors in the inning. One complete in the books. No score here at Westby's Veterans Memorial Field. Sealand's Carpet Lane, located in the heart of Coon Valley. Be sure to stop in, talk to Paige, Tim, or any of the team members today. You are their number one priority. 452-3129 is the number to call. And Tim reminds you, if you step on it, they sell it. American Family Insurance, for all your protection under one roof, be sure to give Miranda Wright a call, 634-3612 or 638-3612. Offices in Westby and Viroqua. Miranda Wright Insurance Agency, with hardworking farm insurance. Wishing all the best to the area teams throughout the year. Cashton Farm Supply. Since 1984, Cashton Farm Supply has focused on organic feed, manufacturing, and distribution. Stop in, talk to Ernie or any of his team, and discuss the benefits of organic farming. Located on Highway 27, just outside of Cashton. Best of luck to our area teams. Gerke uh, came through like a champ for the Toma Legion squad with uh, runners in scoring position, picked up two strikeouts on the number four and five hitter, hitters here for the Bandits. And now Toma will start back in again here with the four, five, six part of the order. Jacob Spires, third baseman, steps in. And he quickly goes down 0-2 in the count with a couple of misses. Let's see what Nedlin has here. He comes inside, and it's going to be a called strike three. He'll throw the ball down to first base, and oh, not able to pick it up, and it gets away from everybody. That ball in the dirt. Steinoff tried to scoop it out of there, but not able to do so. Now batting the second baseman, number 11, Garrison Cowley. Here's uh, Garrison Cowan. Cowan fouls that one back. That'll even the count at one apiece now. Well, when you get a chance, stop in at Culver's in Viroqua. Where food is grown, not made. Here's a pop-up right field, moving over and making the grab for the Bandits. Lucas Bendel didn't have to range too far on that. Here's uh, Austin Sukow, the center fielder with one down. Big swing and a miss there. Nedlin with a good look at the runner comes in with a fastball on the outside part of the plate and Sukow is not able to reach it. He's down 0-2. G. 
just missed upstairs. That one was below the knees, riding inside. Here's a pop-up shortstop. Brigan has the call and the catch for two down. So with two away, here comes the number seven hitter and Colin Schrader. Quick toss over to first, but back in. Fouled that one off on a good cut by the lefty. See if the runner looks to take off here, but that's going to be inside. Well, it's lefty versus lefty here. Low and away. Main Street Designs bringing you today's ball game. Thanks to Leah Kroom. Her shop right behind us here on Main Street. Runner back in safely. Here's a little foul ball that will land right by the dugout. And it'll even the count here at two apiece. Pretty good lead over here at first base. That one came in and hit him. That one ran in on him and got him in the arm. Now with runners at first and second, here's Dawson Downey, the right fielder. A little bit high. That one gets away from Ratho and everybody moves up a spot. And now 90 feet away from taking the lead. Down at third is Spires. And Schrader heads to second base. Downey with a chance for a couple of RBIs here now for the Toma squad. Called strike. Checked his swing, but it's going to be a strike. Two, two offering on the way. And it's going to be a called strike three. Nedlin gets out of the jam here and will keep things preserved at zeros. No runs on no hits. Been two left on base, hit batsman and a throwing error. But uh, the Westby Coon Valley defense comes through and the pitching of Nedlin. ADRC of Vernon County. 
When it comes to making connections between you and your community, it's the Aging and Disability Resource Center of Vernon County. Transportation, caregiving, meals, health promotions, and much more. 402 Courthouse Square. Stop in today. To rent me an electric car? Yes. What if I want to go to Reedstown? Then you just turn left. What if I want to go to California? Then you just go west. Hmm. It's just a car. For quality service after the sale, it's Sleepy Hollow in Viroqua with a collision center, detail center, and 24-hour towing. Levon and the gang are there to serve you. Chaseburg Farmers Union Co-op, located at 113 Cactus Drive in Chaseburg. Be sure to give John Maslevichek or any of his team members a call. 483-2194. Quick and friendly service. Fuel to fertilizers, feed rations to livestock health. It's Chaseburg Farmers Union Co-op. Part of the bandit order to step in and face Gerke, Bendel, Rathel, Brigan, and, and then Johnson, if any of those can get on. Here's a ball lifted foul out of play. Off to the right side. Gerke will jump out in front 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. O oh, two now. Gerke comes in with a fastball downstairs, and it's one and two. Thanks to the Daily Brew here in Westby, one of the newer businesses in the area. Curveball that's in there for a strike. North side of Westby, that's where you'll find the Daily Brew with great coffee. Many different flavors. Breakfast sandwiches and much more. Here's Ben Ratho, the catcher. Takes a strike on the inside. That'll be low and away to even the count here at one apiece. Swing and a miss. That ball fell off the table. And just like that, it's one and two now to Ratho. Little chopper out front. Third baseman with the pick. The long throw. It's in time. Whoa. That was close. Five three on the put out. Here's uh, Brigan now. Beckett from the right side. Thanks to Lori Holti and the Eagle Title Company out there in Coon Valley and Central Avenue. Becca takes the first offering for a called strike. Chop that one underneath. Gerke now in control at 0-2. That pitch up over the top nearly got him. Oh, 
That one gets away. And the count's two and two. Gerke set, and here's a ground ball, second base side, and it's going to sneak through. Well, that's going to go down as an error. And now Johnson, second baseman. Runner taking off. The throw down is not going to be in time. Good throw, though, from Franzen. Brigham able to slide in just prior to the tag. Swing and a miss. Then we go to one and one here. Now one and two. That one catching the outside part. Well, the band is to play again yet today at six o'clock. And now will take care of the innings. Swinging through on that one. Johnson goes down. Well, let's take a look. There's two, uh, three, four, five strikeouts now for Gerke after two complete. No runs, uh, no hits, nobody. One runner left on base. We'll come back with the top of the third. No score yet here in Westby. <music> of Aroqua. That's where you can get a great tasting butter burger or crank it up a notch. It's the deluxe burger right here in Aroqua where food is grown, not made. Home of the concrete mixer. Culver's hopes that you're enjoying today's special presentation. And remember, they offer a flavor of the day each and every day. Part of the order coming up here now for Toma. We say thanks to Gunnarsson Health. It's the Viroqua Clinic. Give them a call at 637-3195. And when you're looking for your lawn, yard, and garden equipment needs, stop in at Effinger's Equipment Sales and Service, 800 North Main in Viroqua. Well, a we'll called strike here to Eckelberg. Left fielder takes the next offering downstairs for a ball. That one scoots away from Ben. And it's two and one. A little bit high. Three and one now. Looking for a pitch that he can maybe drive, but it's going to be a ball and a walk. First walk issued here by Nedlin. Back to the top of the order here. We say thanks going out, of course, to uh, Embroidery and more, Greg Danes and crew. 
210D Swigum Road. We appreciate all that they do. Eckelberg diving back in. Here's a fly ball. Bendo out in right field makes the call and the grab. There's one down. Two games tomorrow for the Bandits as well, 9 o'clock and then 345. Called strike. Gurky a strikeout victim back in the first. They got him. Nice tag. Nice quick throw from Rathel to Steinoff and the snap tag on the snap throw. Picking him off. 2-3 on that one. Now two down. Here's the one-two offering, swing and a miss. That will take care of the inning. No runs on no hits. It's a one-two-three inning here. After the walk, the pickoff play worked to perfection. We'll come back with more. We move to the bottom half of the third, and it'll be back to the top of the order for the Bandits, West Beacon Valley. What is it that makes you powerful? Having a voice. When you're part of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your voice is heard loud and clear. Because you're more than a customer, you're a member. Most important, you're connected to all the other members in our community, to your hometown electric co-op, and to the people who've been there for you year after year. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. Located in the heart of Coon Valley, it's Coon Valley Telecommunications bringing high-speed internet, HD television, and crisp phone service to the Coon Valley, Stoddard, and Chaseburg communities. Contact Carol or any associate at 452-3101, or better yet, stop in today, 105 Central Avenue, Coon Valley. Main Street Mobile Mart bringing you today's ball game. your only family-owned convenience store in Viroqua. Here's Nedlin who takes a tight curveball for a strike. Starting off the bottom half of inning number three. Still no score in the ball game. Here's a ground ball. This one is in for a hit. Nedlin getting things started. And we'll get a courtesy runner now. Now then, the center fielder, number 14, Gavin Larson. Larson, a strikeout victim back in the first inning. A little toss back over. Showing bunt, that's in there for a strike. Gavin drops behind 0-1 now. Oh, that's going to be called a strike. Yeah. 
It's now 0-2. And a swing and a miss. There's one away. Here's Blake Sutton. Sutton smashed a double to the base of the fence in right center in the first inning. Pushing Nedlin to third. And then Gerke promptly struck out the next two to keep the bandits from crossing home plate. Here's a ground ball that's bobbled, picked up. The throw is not going to be in time. That'll go down as an error. So runners at first and second now for Westby Coon Valley. And brings up Brody Steinhoff, the first baseman. Steinhoff, a strikeout victim back in the first. See what he can do here as we say thanks to Nordic Lanes, Scott and Sue Sordahl helping us out today. All kinds of great fun, no matter what the season at Nordic Lanes. Pop this one up. In, in. Oh, they're going to call it an infield fly rule, and now they're going to be out there. Well, they'll have some discussion on this one. Well, that's going to be a double play here. So they're going to call the uh, pop out an infield fly. And then runner was tagged out uh, going to third in Nedlin. Well, we'll take a break, come back. They'll get that sorted out, but no runs in the inning. Uh, one hit on no runs and one left on. We'll go to the fourth after this. Vernon Manor Health Care Center. Located just outside of Viroqua, a county-owned long-term care and rehabilitation facility. Be sure to call Amanda Huff or any of her crew at 637-5400 and find out why you are treated like family at Vernon Manor Health Care Center. The Daily Brew Company, family-owned. The Ola Roots and Cades invite you to stop in, try the many delicious items on their menu. Looking forward to seeing all of you from your friends at the Daily Brew Company on the north side of Westby, 100 Washington Street. Call 634-4001. Well, we bounce right back, and Franzen, the catcher, smashes a stand-up double to left center. Wasted no time on that offering. So Franzen will get a courtesy runner. Well, here we go with uh, Spires now. Takes a strike. Spires, the third baseman.
was on by an error back in the second inning. He now falls behind on that swing and miss at an 0-2 count. And there's one down. Here's Garrison Cohen. Let's see, what did uh, Cowan do? He was, he flew out to Bendel in right field. Takes one outside. Well, check out Premier Co-op right here in Westby with Grain Energy. Convenience store, hardware store. That went off the shin guard of Ratho. And now it's 3 0. We'll take that one upstairs, and it's the second walk of the ball game here on Nedlin. One out, runners at first and third now for Toma. Suko will step in. He popped out to Brigham back in the second inning. That was out number two. With a runner on. Now he has two on. And this is a pop up. Brigham. Now it's actually going to be Stensling will make the call and the grab. Well, let's see if they can get out of this inning. Here's Schrader, who was hit by a pitch back in the second was stranded at second base, takes a strike. Netherlands set with the old one. It's a swing and a miss. As the lefty versus lefty combination once again. Right Choice Construction, the place to go. Be sure to contact Rich. Swing and a miss. That'll end the inning. When it comes to renovation, new homes, whatever it might be, Right Choice is your best choice. So the strikeout to end the inning. No runs on one hit and two runners left on base. We're going to go to the bottom half of inning number four. Still no score between West Pecoon Valley and Toma. Vernon Memorial Healthcare offers a five-star patient experience. Don't just take their word for it. The VMH five-star patient experience rating is from Centers for Medicare and Medicaid. VMH has received this rating for 16 years in a row. Everyone at VMH committed to making your visit a five-star patient experience. Evinger's Equipment Sales and Service, featuring steel, country clipper, simplicity, and much more. It's Evinger Equipment in Viroqua. Best of luck to the Eagles, Blackhawks, and Norsemen as they compete in the Cooley and Scenic Bluffs conference races. Stensling will step in, and we say thanks to Kevin Blusky, Real Mutual Insurance agent, and his agency in 
Viroqua. Big baseball fan and, of course, uh, looking to help you with any and all types of coverage. Here's a ball pop foul. Stensley now one and one. Gertke deals. Ooh, that one came in and caught him right on the shoulder. Oof, you could hear that pop clear up here. One on, nobody out. Here comes Lucas Bendel. Bendel got fooled on a called strike three back in the second inning to start off the inning. And he'll look to move stenciling over to second base. Runner taking off in stenciling and he'll be there easily. Great speed over there by stenciling. To get the stolen base. Now Bendel will, let's see if he can hit to the right side. Maybe punch one through. Well, the Riverbank with offices right here in Westby on the south side and in the heart of Coon Valley. HSAs, CDs, personal loans, much more. Stop in, give them a call today. Good little bunt right out in front. That's a dandy one. They'll go to first base, get the out, and here comes a throw home. Stenslin is in. He kept on running, and a good sacrifice here for Bendel. Two, three on the put out. That's out number one, but the big thing is one run on the board, and they've been real scarce to come by. Now batting, the catcher number 13, Ben Rathel. Here's Ben Rathel now with nobody on and one down. That one came in and clipped him in the leg. And a courtesy runner and a timeout coming up. In 210D Swigum Road. No job is too small or too big. Contact Greg Danes or Amanda Coble for all your embroidery needs. Screen printing, commercial sewing, embroidery, or heat transferring. The place to go in Westby. Embroidery and more. Best of luck to the area teams. will step in after the short timeout. Shows bunt. Another good little bunt. Franzen going down to first. They'll get the out, but the sacrifice complete. Grady Evenstead running for uh, Ben Rathel now. Stands at second base. Here's Caleb Johnson. Allen came in on him, nearly got him in the shin. Had to do a quick dance to get out of the way on that. That'll go upstairs. Well, Vernon Manor Healthcare, thanks to Amanda Huff and all of those great uh, caretakers on the north side of Viroqua. Bringing you the action. Swing and a miss. 
And we hope you're enjoying today's ball game on Vernon Communications, Channel 14. Thanks to the great crew over there at Vernon Communications. There's the ball lifted foul out of play. Huh? That was close. The ball rattled around up in the light pole area. Now two and two. Called strike three. That will end the inning and another tight curveball that snuck by. Well, run does get across here for the Westby Coon Valley squad. They pick up that run on no hits. Two hit batsmen in that inning really uh, created some help. Four in the books. It's one nothing. Westby Coon Valley over Toma. VFW of Aroka hopes that you're enjoying today's special presentation. Be sure to check out the VFW Banquet and Dining Facilities for your next big event. We can cater to all your needs, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, and of course your fundraising events. Call Eric Sherry, 637-3212. And remember, no one does more for veterans than the VFW. Downey, the right fielder, will look to kick things in gear for the Tomo squad. He takes the ball downstairs. And we say thanks to the fine friends at Sleepy Hollow on the north side of Viroqua. Check out the three facilities and all that they have to offer. Here's a fly ball, center field. Dropping back, able to make the grab out there was Gavin Larson. Well, Downing gave that one a pretty good ride, but hung in the air for the out. Here's Eckelberg now. Swing and a miss, ball popping free. Now 0-2 on the count. Thanks to Sealand's Carperland out there in swing and a miss. We'll come back to Sealand's here. It's going to be a qu quite the throw. It's not going to be in time. Second time today that a strikeout and still able to get to first base. One down, we're back to the top of the order with Fleetner. Takes the ball outside. Well, Seelands Carpetland, we are going to talk about, of course, uh, located in Coon Valley. What a store they have now with the renovation. Pretty much, I would say it's all complete but some uh, terrific selections when it comes to carpet, linoleum, tile, you name it. That's downstairs. And of course, Scenic Bluffs Community Health bringing you today's action. Here's a ground ball. There's one, the relay is in time. A good stretch over there by Steinoff at first. And he hung on for the out. Oh, nice play over there. 
to take care of the inning. It winds up a 4-6-3 double play. No runs, no hits, nobody left on base. Back with more after this. Morocco Booster Club, supporting the many teams of Morocco High School. The Booster Club works closely with coaches and administration to assist in many ways. Thank you to the Verroqua Booster Club, fans, parents, and alumni for their great financial and moral support over the course of all these years. To insurance, the Kevin Blusky Agency. Stop in and see Kevin for all of your farm business insurance needs. Your Wisconsin-based insurance company that keeps your money in the state. Home, condo, personal insurance coverage as well. All from your local rural mutual insurance agents. Your leader in the farm coverage business is Kevin Blusky Agency, Rural Mutual Insurance. To the top of the order for the West Beacon Valley Legion squad here, the Junior Legion team. And first pitch fouled back from the bat of Devin Neblin. Couple of hits already in the ball game, looking for number three. Next offering is gonna be punch through for an easy base hit. Found the opening there in the infield and knocked it out to the grass. Here's Gavin Larson now. Larson today, a strikeout victim twice. Once looking and second time swinging. Shows bunt, that one came in on him. Pulled back just in time. That's downstairs, and it's 2-0. and Well, contact Vernon Electric, and they'll have some great ideas on how to lower your energy bill, keep things running efficiently. They're located out at... Uh, Sogstead Road. Here's the 3-0 offering. Going to be a strike on the letters. Here's the kick and a fly ball out to right field. And oh, the ball's dropped. It was in the mitt and dropped. That's going to go down as an air. Oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, so an E9 puts runners at first and second now for Blake Sutton. First offering, uh, curveball stays up high. Well, again, uh, VMH doing a great job with Medicare, Medicaid for patients. 16 straight years, a five-star rating. They're doing some really good things over there. Here's a little bunt Ooh, right out in front. This is going to be a tough play, and he's going to be safe. Runner is going to come across here. And Westby picks up another run. <clears throat> Sutton, I think, was going to beat that one out. Nedlin's run scores. 
Larson stands at third. Here is Steinoff now with nobody out. Looking to try and come up with something. They're going to call a quick timeout here. And infield's going to meet real quick. And we'll take a timeout ourselves. The Vasatag Funeral Home, dedicated to serving area families in time of need. Caring, professional guidance, always a must. Contact Gina Sherry for reliable, compassionate care. The loss of the life of a loved one is always a stressful time. Turn to Vasatag Funeral Home. Westby and Viroqua. Main Street Designs. If you're in need for a cut, color, or highlight, be sure to contact Leah Kroom. Main Street Designs may be just what you're looking for. Conveniently located in the heart of Westby. 116 South Main Street. Give Leah a call today, 634-3201, and set up your appointment. Steinhoff will step in after the timeout as the infield conversed about things. Steinhoff, a strikeout victim, and then popped up to the shortstop. That was back in the third. Here he is in the fifth. Nobody away. Shows bunt inside and nothing happening. Now with runners at second and third. A run is in, it's 2-0 Westby Coon Valley in a tight ball game. That's outside, 2-0 now. Well, let's see what comes up here. Swing and a miss. That one dropped away from him. Ooh, coming right back. Ooh, that got him right in the middle of the back. Here's Stensling now. Well, the great folks at VFW of Viroqua, no one does more for veterans than the VFW. Swing and a miss. Located on the south side, by the way. <coughs> Nobody out, bases loaded. A run is in already. And there's three more out there. Fouled that one off. Get it out front. One, two now. Gurky out in front here. Big inning there for Westby Coon Valley with nobody out. That one stayed high up on the eyes. Runners take their lead, and Gerke is set. Line drive, it's going to be in for a base hit. Here comes one run, and now two. And Stensling comes up with a nice hit. Two RBI single. Steinoff heads to third from first base. Here's Bendel now. Three runs coming across here in the inning.
Going to be a strike. Bendel sitting on an 0 1 count. Takes that one tight. And I'll even things at 1 and 1. Checked his swing. It rode in on the chest. Two and one. That one getting away. Well, here comes the play now, and the slide is safe. Steinoff just made it in. Looked like it was going to be a close play, and Brody got the foot in on the upper part of the plate. Gurky might have got his hand caught in there, too. That's upstairs and a walk. And now we're gonna get a timeout here. This might this might be it for Gurky, we'll see. fishing requirements, bait to tackle, and even a quick snack. It's Barocca's Mobile Mini Market. Keep your vehicle running smoothly with Synergy Mobile Fuel. Rob and the whole game wish everyone the best of luck during the 2021 season. Step in now. with runners at first and third. Here's a shot, oh, a beautiful hit right there by Ratho, and heading to third base was Bendel. He never slowed down. Ratho with a big hit. Picking up an RBI. Five runs so far in the inning, still nobody out. Thanks to the Verroqua Booster Club helping us out today. Here's Beckett Brigham now. Brigham looking for a hit. Pick up an RBI. Runner taking off. Tossed down to third, but back in easily. There's going to be a called strike hooking away from him. One and one now. That one nearly got him. He spun away just in time. Here's a little ground ball right back. They'll come to home and they're gonna get, uh-oh, uh now the ball got away. They're gonna get lucky on this one. Oof, boy oh boy. 
A little miscue on the throw back to third. Winds up as a fielder's choice for Brigham. And an air on a throw. That ball rode in on Johnson. Swing and a miss. One and one now. Well, thanks to Dr. Leon Klum bringing you today's action here from Westby. where you'll get your next beautiful smile. That ball rolled in on the chest and shoulder region, and it's two and one. Went down after that one, came up empty, it's two and two. And there's your first out of the inning. Swing and a miss. Not able to reach that one. Here's Nedlin now. Three for three today. Has a run scored. Takes that one downstairs. Now three and oh to the pitcher. And they'll walk him on four straight pitches. And we'll go back with uh, Gavin Larson now. <clears throat> now then, the center fielder, number 14, Gavin Larson. Larson on by an air. He punched one out to right field, and the right fielder had it. Hit the glove and pop out. Caught him right in the uh, palm of the glove. Gerke jumps out 0-1 though on a good little pitch. Here's a ground ball. Second base bobbles. The flip is in time to get the out. And a run will score. So four or six on the put out. But uh, coming across was Rathel's run. Here's Sutton again. With two away, runner taken off and now let him go down. Thanks to the Vostag Funeral Home helping us out today. Jen and Justin and the crew. A little bit low. Well, also uh, the Westby Co-op Creamery with conventional and organic dairy products helping us out. They're right behind us too. Stop in there. Grab some cheese curds on the way home. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. And the fine folks at Westby Co-op Credit Union, WCCU, offices uh, now nine different branches throughout the area. Sutton at one and two. Gets called out looking. Looking. 
Well, let's see, two, four, six, seven runs coming across in the inning here. They get those uh, seven runs on a number of hits. Let's see, one, two, three, four hits. There was an error, two errors in the inning, and a hit batsman as well. And a couple runners left on base. We'll come back with more here in a moment's time. West Coon Valley moving to the sixth inning. They lead 8-0. on the north side of Westby, a proud sponsor of today's wrestling event. Scott and Susan Sordahl wishing all the best to the area wrestlers. Be sure to stop in at Nordic Lanes as they offer a full menu, including the best pizza in the area. And don't forget that mouth-watering specials that they have throughout the week. Good luck once again to our area wrestlers. Well, we're in the sixth inning now, and Owen Gerke will step in the pitcher and has the first offering in there for a called strike. Nedlin coming back. That offering is downstairs, one and one. Well, a tight ball game has now been uh, expanded to 8 nothing. Must be picking up a run in the fourth, but then seven big ones here in the last half inning in the fifth. Kind of break this one open a little bit. Called strike three. Not able to pull the trigger on that one. Here's Franzen. He hits a shot down to Stensling. Oh, what a pick. And the throw in plenty of time. A one-hop shot that Stensling was able to pick up and fire for out number two. The third baseman, number 32, Jacob Spires. Here is Jacob Spires now. 0 for 2 today. That one uh, ran inside and down on the ankles. It's now two and one. Swing and a miss. Westby Coon Valley coming back later today at six o'clock for another ball game. Finish off the day. And speaking of finishing things off, there's a swing and a miss. That will finish the Top half of the sixth inning. No runs, no hits, nobody left on base. A 1-2-3 inning here for the Bandit defense. Back with more after this word from our sponsors. The Westby Co-op Creamery. Quality dairy products from the Creamery. Serving the dairy industry for more than 110 years. Congratulations to the Westby Co-op Creamery for all their award-winning products. 4% small curd cottage cheese and of course, their world-class sour cream. This and much more at the Westby Co-op Creamery Cheese and Gift Shop. Premier Co-op, serving members since 1893. Your corporate office located in Mount Hora. Other sites include Cashton, Lafarge, Richland Center, Baroqua, Eastman, and Westby. Best of luck to all the area teams throughout the season. And they wish all of you a happy and prosperous new year. Well, 
Thanks going out to Miranda Wright, American Family Insurance Agency, right here in Westby and Viroqua. As Brody Steinoff steps back in. Last time up, hit by a pitch and eventually scored. That one nearly got him again. That one rolled right in on him on the uh, chin area, literally. Downstairs, 2-0 oh now. Turkey coming in, and here's a shot. A good hit down the left field line, and Steinoff is going to have a double. Oh, that was a nice swing right there, and he put it on the... Bottom of the fence, couple bounces. And it's one on, nobody out. Here is Stenciling. Stenciling with a huge hit in his previous at bat. There's a called strike. Shot one out towards right field and picked up a couple of ribbies. Thanks to ADRC, your Agent and Disability Resource Center, right here in Vernon County. Here's a ground ball. Runner will advance over to third. A ground out, 4-3. Steinoff stands 90 feet away now. Here's Lucas Bendel. Bendel with the ground ball. He'll get an RBI on this as he gets thrown out 6-3, but Steinoff able to come across after hitting that double. Two down, Ratha will start things all over again. Here's a little shot out towards center field. It's going to drop in for Ratha's second hit of the ball game. Good job there, punching it over the second baseman's head. So two hits in a row there for Ben. Now then, the shortstop, number five, Brigham. Now Becca Brigham will try to keep the inning alive here for the Bandits with two down and a runner on. Here's a soft little liner that's dropped in front, but the shortstop picks and fires for out Number three, six three on the put out. Well, uh, one run coming across here. They get that run on one hit. Check that two hits in the inning. And now lead nine nothing. Must be Coon Valley over Toma. Right Choice Construction, the La Crosse area's remodel expert. Time for new windows or a patio door? Give us a call. Our EcoSmart windows are designed to withstand harsh weather, making them more energy efficient. They're long lasting, weather tight, and never need to be painted or stained. Find out how easy and affordable your new windows or patio door can be. Call us today to schedule a free in-home consultation with one of our knowledgeable design consultants. Right Choice Construction, the right choice for your well, remodel. Here steps in uh, Garrison Cowan in the top of the seventh inning, and our thanks going out to the Bank of Cashton as well. 
724 Front Street, their new location. They've been there for a while now, obviously, but uh, just a beautiful facility there. Thanks to Scott Wall and the crew. Well, the second offering is a swing and a miss to even account at one apiece. Nedlin looking to go the distance here, pitching-wise. Cowan over the top on that curve that dropped underneath the swing. Fouled right back towards us. Here's a shot back up the middle. That one went by Nedlin pretty quickly. So Cowan is on. With nobody out, here is Suko, the center fielder. Runner taken off. Here comes uh, the th play. It's going to be a base hit. Dropped right in front of Sutton. That was a ball that was sinking fast. Sutton had a good jump on it, too, but you could just see it dying out there. And it was going to be a tough call to get to. There's a called strike. Schrader today is no official at bat. He was hit by a pitch back in the second and good sacrifice. Back in the uh, third inning, fourth inning, there it was, fourth inning. High chopper. A little flip. No, not going to be there. So an E6. We'll load the bases up now. Here's Downey. So Sankey now comes in to pinch hit. Takes a strike. So I'm going to miss Sankey for Downey here. And there's out number one. Got the strikeout now with one down. Base is still loaded up here for Toma. Now adding the pitch hitter, number 26, Ethan DeVito. Here is Ethan DeVito. Top of the order in uh, Fleetner waiting on deck. Thanks to the Brigham Oil Company, once again, Jody and Brian Brigham bringing you today's action. Well, when it comes to heating and fuel needs, be sure to st stop in or give them a call. 654-7358. Thanks to all of our sponsors here today. Another ball game coming up later at 6 o'clock. There's a strike. And it's 2-2. Two and two. More games following this as far as uh, being played, but we'll be back at 6 for the last game. There's a call strike, last game of the day. And then they'll have a couple more games on Sunday. We hope to be able to do maybe the first game. We'll see. Number 20, Brett 
Fleetner swings through that first offering. Trying to get the shutout win here is Nedlin and the Bandits. Couple of strikes away. Foul tip. And now one strike away is 0-2. Nedlin's set, here he comes, and this is popped up. Shortstop Brigham has the ball for out number three, and that'll do it. Well, quite the ball game here in uh, two different halves in a sense, if you can say that. The first four innings, first three innings, uh, no score. And finally, in the bottom of the fourth, a uh, run coming across for Westby Coon Valley. Seven more in the fifth inning, a huge inning. And then a final run in the sixth. Nine runs on nine hits. There were two errors on the Bandits. Meanwhile, for Toma, no runs. They had three hits, but four errors in the ball game. Your final score, nine nothing here. Westby Coon Valley picking up a win in their first ball game than the first game of this Junior Legion tournament. Well, we hope that you've enjoyed watching this Western Wisconsin video production of Westby Coon Valley Junior Legion Baseball. Again, they pick up the win. 9 nothing. We'll be back with more later on today. We'll see you then. Back here in Westby.